Caitlin with Post Echo and I'm here with Hayward from Devereaux and we're here at the Jam Room for Post Echo's very first sound check. Well, you know, it's just uh, a lot of guitar heads that you, uh, you know, it, it uh, lets you get pretty much whatever tone you want to get out of here. You know, you want to get a little, th uh, a little thin and bright, you can go with this. You want to get like classic Green Day distortion, you can go with this. You know, you can blend them together, use the Vox on the record. Use really all of these, you know, just to sort of uh, <clears throat> get what I could out of the guitar. And then I pretty much buried it all with keyboards. So. What do you get with the triple rectifier? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Can you tell me a little more about the keyboards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty integral to uh, the record, actually. Pretty much all the sounds came from, believe it or not, just this tiny little chord keyboard, which I bought from money that I had made uh, doing a Spanish translation in the Hamptons, believe it or not. And, uh, you know, it was, I discovered the arpeggiator, and it was like, whoa, it's like, you know, it's, just, it's, a, it's an instant party machine. <laughs> Yeah, track drums right here. Uh, got the insulation. Uh, didn't do anything too fancy, really, with the drums. You know, just kind of standard. I guess it's the bass room. I did bass in here, so it's the bass room for me. This is a what? You could do anything here, though, I guess. So this is the mothership, this is where it all goes down? Yeah, yeah, I guess so, you know, the mixing room, uh, where this, you know, this goes into that, that goes into that, <laughs> etc. Knobs and stuff to turn, EQs to tweak, etc. You know, of course, right there you've got the display to let you know if anyone's coming in, uh, gonna rob you. Luckily that <laughs> never happened. It used to be a black and white TV, but um, I guess they've upgraded. Uh, the looping pedal, pretty integral also, which I just did with the, the sassafras thing, but uh, it's got all sorts of things on it that are just layers and layers of me doing things. Uh, sort of how I start the songs out. Perestroika for one, and then, uh, I don't know, I guess the spit has on here somewhere. That would be Capri, but, um, you know, nothing really beats like a warrior sound. Soundbite. Between men and safety, stand 20,000 cops <laughs> and 100,000 sworn enemies. I want them all. So what about the voice? There's that. I, you know, I can't sing, so I either had to shout or uh, do vocoder. I did both. And um, uh, Unfortunately, vocoder is like cilantro or jelly beans. It's polarizing. You either love it or hate it. But it's pretty simple. You just... Try. All right. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, did not use it, you know, it's from uh, back in the day. Use it on an old demo in 01, you know, because I'm old. 